Hey guys, so this video is going to talk a little bit about classifying different congruent figures. This is going to be able to help us more specifically be able to identify congruent uh, triangles and the traits that are between them. So in order to classify congruent figures, the first thing we need to know is that all corresponding parts of the, piece, of the shapes need to be congruent to each other. So in this drawing we have below, we have two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle FED. What I look at here is these two shapes are congruent because I have three pairs of corresponding angles that are all congruent. So for example, angle A and angle F are congruent, angle B and angle E are congruent, and lastly C and D are congruent, as these are labeled down here. In addition to that though, the corresponding sides are also congruent, which means that A, B, and F, E are the same. B, C, and E, D are the same, and lastly, A, C, and F, D are the same. This is a lot more complicated than what we've been doing in the past with congruence. So in order to show that two triangles are congruent, you have to have six congruent statements that are all going to be true. Now, to label this triangle as congruent, we need to list the corresponding vertices in the same order. So we can't just say, for example, that A, B, C is congruent to E, D, F. Because A and E, the first two things I said, did not correspond. Now these two examples that you see here that I have drawn on the paper are two great examples. However, there are many other examples that we can list out, so long as the corresponding parts are in the same place. Notice how the red A and the red F are both in the first position. And on this statement, the A and the F are in the last position. So it doesn't matter where they are as long as they correspond. So take a moment, if it means to pause this video, try to decide one or two other statements you could write for this exact same problem. One that I'm going to consider that we don't have up here is the fact that C, I'm going to write first this time. So we're going to write C, and then let's go ahead and write maybe B next and A last. So if I wanted to draw the corresponding triangle here in the right order, the first term needs to correspond to C. So that would be ver vertex D. Next would be B's corresponding angle, which in this case is E. And lastly, A's corresponding angle is F. Here is another possibility of what you can write here. We're going to take a look at the next slide here. And what I want to do now is take an opportunity to see if we can write a congruent statement for these triangles. Again. What would be helpful here is for you to pause the video, take a moment, reflect, and see if you can come up with a possible answer. Let's talk through one of these, and then I'll list out some of the other possibilities. So let's say I want to go in alphabetical order. So let's go JKL on the left side. I'll write my congruence symbol. So now I want to write the triangle that corresponds to JK and L. Well, J has the three marks for congruent, as T does. So J and T are corresponding to each other. Next, I need to correspond something to K. Well, that's going to be S. And last but not least, I need to correspond with L, which is going to give me R. So here's one possibility. Again, within this statement, you can see everything you need to know. For example, I know that K and S are going to be congruent to each other. In addition, I can look at segments, too. So, for example, JK corresponds to TS, as you see they're in the same order. And look, JK and TS both have the same marking, which shows that they're congruent. I'm going to list the remaining possibilities here to match up what you came up with. 